Hi guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki Manny Photography and Orms blog. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I want to talk quickly about some new tools which is pretty much the rectangular tool and all these other shapes they all work pretty much the same way then I'm not going to talk too much about the 3D options or not at all actually and the camera tool also not because I don't really work with that then quickly want to talk about the hand tool and rotate view tool and yes let's get started quickly with the rectangular tool please fall back on Photoshop um, tools and basics part 8 where I covered a lot about the pen tool because the shape tool and the pen tool they work together quite a lot that's why they also spaced here together in one section and the whole application menu is also pretty much the same so quickly just to show you guys what this does actually I'm just going to select a rounded rectangular shape we don't need to create a new layer we can just directly do it on our layer here I'm just gonna create a really random uh, selection and box here and just drop it and directly you guys will notice that you can still change your foreground color if you want to if you are either you can change it here at the top or you can also afterwards still change it onto your layer you also got a new um, mask clip to that so you can adjust that a little bit but sometimes it's handy to just uh, double click on here you can choose a new color say OK and now you've got a whole new color if you want to you can also use different styles if you want to if you want that clip to that you can so just select the clipping color over here um, then like I said before different options in here different shapes again just go over here then you directly go into the new ecliptical tool so this all works together with the pen tool just fall back on Photoshop part 8 um, and there I explain more about that stuff how to work with the pen tool just one more thing now say for instance if we did a ecliptical marking tool that's just on here don't worry it won't affect on your older shape it will directly create a new layer with a new mask and you have it all together in one new thing then now if you in that and you want to quickly go back to the pen tool you can just go in different options here at the top again and say for instance you want to say add or subtract I want to add now so I'm going to select the add button over here and then I can just in here with my pen tool already create some really weird shapes just complete that selection and now I've got a whole new path in my other path shape so that comes in handy sometimes if you need to work or want to create weird looking shapes together with ecliptical stuff if you're a graphic designer I would say this comes in handy a lot for retouching you don't use it that much okay one last step I'm gonna say just right click and rasterize that and then you've still got it added just pretty much as a normal layer and you can do whatever you want to with it again alright yeah that's pretty much how I work with these shapes then also quickly want to show you guys the hand tool that I showed almost in every tutorial also the spacebar tool you can just move around in your image and last tool rotate tool comes in handy sometimes if you need to rotate your whole canvas you can just really quickly rotate that a little bit if you're working with a vacuum continuous four board like I am you can just go scroll down to canvas rotation and you can do the same effect as well comes in really handy then also last tool that I want to still cover is the zoom tool over here okay my canvas size is just really weird at the moment just let me straighten this out okay the zoom tool also very simple it's gonna blend that layer out you can just zoom in with this or that so if you are photoshopping quite a lot then you don't always want to fall back here on this tool you can just press Z and then you also directly get into that mode hold Z and you can just zoom in really quickly in and out if you're still new you can also use this uh, navigator panel over here and you can just zoom in left and right there yeah so that was my quick tutorial on that hope you guys liked it if you still have any questions feel free to email me to team at mannyphotography.co.za my name is Manny and see you all next week in our last tutorial on Photoshop basics and tools bye bye